Why was that there? Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you get really good at math, you will make a lot of money. Who knows? Next one, number 13. Let's go. Choose the fraction model that represents the following equation. This represents that. We will use every highlighter this time too. We are going to get crazy. Fraction, those are fractions. Models, these are models. Okay. I love number lines, so we have finished pink. Let's see if we can pull this off. We will use all the other colors. Okay, which one should I go with first? I will go with favorite color, blue. All right, first off, these are number lines. And notice how we only have numbers on the bottom. And then we have lines drawn. We could call those hops, but there are different ones. And they end at different points. We need to choose the model that represents 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 plus 2 over 8 equals 4 over 8. Now, first off, let's just make sure that these number lines have 8 for the denominator. This is how I do it. Notice how I'm doing it on the bottom. So make sure you do it on the bottom too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Check. Okay. Let's double check for every single one. Notice how I went from 0 to 1. Okay. So each one of these would be 1 over 8. Let's double check the other ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, this one's over 8 too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This one is over 8. What do you think the odds are that this one's going to be over 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Okay. Blue. Oh, let's highlight those. Blue, blue, blue. Notice how they all have 8 on the bottom. Awesomeness. Now, just to show you, every single one of these is 1 over 8. And I know this takes a while, but it's important to understand why every single piece is one eighth. See how the eight stays consistent on the bottom? When you add fractions, you want the you need the denominator to be the same to make life easy. Now let's see on the top. If we get all the way here to one, it should be. This 1 equals 8 over 8. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 plus 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 1 is 8 ones. So we end there. Okay, now that that has been established, bye bye pen, bye bye pink, bye bye pencil, let's bring out the three colors. Okay, let's start with green first. I'm just going to go to the first one. Notice this green one, and I'm going to kind of color it so it pops out. Wow, this green one did a big hop and went over that one and went over here. Notice how it went basically one hop, two hops over. It jumped two places. Okay. This one goes one place. Oh, this one goes one place. Oh, whoa, look at this one. Not one, not two, 
three. It goes all the way over three places. So if I'm just looking at my fraction or my equation, notice how this only goes one place? Not two, one and one. Just from doing this right away at the very beginning, I know it's not this one right away. It's not. Later. Later. Now I have a 50-50 shot of whether it's B or C. That represents this one. Okay? I'll color it in so you can see it. This hop. This hop, they both have only one hop. We only wanted one hop. Let's bring out orange, I love orange. Let's go to the next one. One again, okay. One. Ooh, this one's the same too. One, one hop. <sighs> one hop. It's a race. Is it answer B or answer C? So this equation is representing this number line as 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8. What's the next part? We need 2 over 8. So that means we will jump 2. Wait, this only goes 1 again. Oh, look at this one. One, two. This jumps two spaces. One, two. Two. There it is. Let's bring that pencil back. Oh, wait. I know this might be hard to see, but I'm going to write it in there. Jumps two places. One plus one plus two. One plus one is two. 2 plus 2 is 4 eighths. 4 eighths. Check. Check. Now, once you get good at this, you can probably do this in 10 to 20 seconds. Okay? Let's just see what happened to the other ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This actually is 6 eighths. That's not four eighths. Let's check this one. One plus one plus one. That's three eighths. This one down here, whoa, it jumps three, it jumps three more, and it jumps one more. One plus three plus one, six, seven, seven eighths. So when you're adding fractions, make sure that denominator stays the same, okay? Best way for this is to do as many fraction models with number lines as possible and just practice it. Remember the bottom hops, so to summarize, the bottom total hops is always the denominator. No, I was consistent with my colors. Every single one of them had eight. The top hops I represented with different colors, but that was for the top number, the numerator. And I hope you clearly see that this is one and one and then two, not one, one, one. We need one, one, and two. That was nine minutes. Have fun with this because you know what? The more fun you have, the more likely you will make that later. Maybe. All right. Have fun with it. Bye-bye.